Okay, nothing is rolling out the stable version of Nothing OS 3.0 for their first phone, which was Nothing Phone 1. Currently, that device was running open beta builds, but today, Nothing has started rolling out stable version of Nothing OS 3.0. In this video, we'll talk about every new change, what Nothing Phone 1 gets with Nothing OS 3.0 and did Nothing miss out on any of the features compared to their other devices. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here you can see I have my Nothing Phone 1 which I've already updated to Nothing OS 3.0. If I go to about section, here you can see Nothing OS 3.0. Build number is 1938. I was not running open beta on my device. My device was running Nothing OS 2.6 and you can see I received an OTA update which says nothing OS 3.0 and here you can see all the change logs. There are a lot of changes what nothing have done and if you see the update size which is around 1.46 GB. Under Android version you can see Android version is Android 15 and it still has 1st December 2024 security patch. Nothing haven't included the Jan security patch with this latest update. And guys now before moving ahead we have around 85% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel but they do watch our videos. So if you guys find our content useful to you guys then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. Nothing Phone 2 and Nothing Phone 2 have already got the stable version and now only one device is left that is CMF Phone 1. Soon we get the update of that device, we'll do a dedicated video for that device too. And with this stable build, finally Nothing have implemented the Nothing Gallery application. So here you can see the Gallery application, I did not install it on my device, soon I booted up with Nothing OS 3.0, this application was already there. And if you see the version, the version is 0.9.12.1204. I had installed Nothing Gallery on my Nothing Phone 2, so let me show you the version on that device. Is it the same version or the newer one? Basically the version is exactly same. So first let's explore Nothing Gallery application. So you soon you open it, you can see a preview here with a description which says experience an immersive beautifully designed image gallery with intelligence features to help you find your photos with ease. Tapping on get started, you have to enable the access. So I'll allow access to all the photos and this is the home screen of the gallery application. Towards the bottom side you have things like album section and you can also search for the photos. In the album you also have the support of gesture which lets you pinch in and pinch out. Though the editing option is still not being added, for example if I tap on edit it says no editor found on your phone. But here if I enable the Google Photos application because I have disabled to check this feature, if I enable it and then open the nothing gallery application and tap on edit you can see we do have the edit options. So the Nothing Gallery application is not fully ready. But it do comes with an AI feature. So for example, if you long press on any of the photo, you can see it says downloading resources for image cutout. So they have added this AI feature of image cutout. And here you can see if you long press on the photo, you can remove the subject from that particular photo. And later on you have the option to save, share and copy. And you also have this feature, you can drag and drop the photo in any of the messaging application which supports media transfer. If you slide any photo on the top side, you get the details about that particular photo. On the main homepage of gallery application also we do have this pinch in and pinch out support. I mean the gesture support. And there's another thing for example if you open this photo and if I tap on this heart icon which means the favorite photo, you'll see that particular photo which we selected as favorite will be in bigger size compared to other photos present on your device. And if you remove it from the favorite, it will go back to the normal size like other photos. So this is the new gallery application of nothing and it also supports predictive gesture. And like gallery application we also have the new widget called countdown widget. You just have to update the nothing widgets app from the play store and you'll be able to apply it. Just go to the widget section and select for the countdown widget. And here you have the options like for example if you are traveling anywhere you can just name that trip, select the date, format and other shape options are also available. And I don't think so it's currently dynamic because I've set 16 as a date and if you see here there is no color changes. If I swipe up it shows me the date until trip to Goa. If it was dynamic the pill should have started filling depending on the time left. But if I change the date to today's date which is 15th and I tap on OK now you'll see we have the filled widget. So I think this is also not fully functional currently. So talking about the other changes which you'll soon notice after installing Nothing OS 3.0 and one of them is the new boot animation. So here you can see we do have the end dot animation while booting up our device. And later on soon you boot your device, you'll have the welcome screen of Nothing OS 3.0, which will tell you things like what's new on Nothing OS 3.0. You have around five to six pages. The second one consists of lock screen customization, then the ability to rearrange quick setting tiles. Next page gives you information about sharing widgets. Then you have another page showcasing your Android 15 features. And the last page is new clock styles what nothing have added. End dot animation have been added in few more places also. One of them is this fingerprint animation. 
So here you can see the end dot animation in action whenever you tap on the fingerprint icon. After that you also have the new charging animation consist of end dot animation and this is how it looks whenever you connect your device to the charger. Let me show you guys once again. And initially we thought that nothing will remove the end dot font from nothing OS 3.0 which was initially done but later on they added that option in the experimental features. So here you can see we have a dot matrix title use end dot for settings title. So soon you enable this all the setting titles adapts to the end dot font. There are some stock Android features which they have added we'll talk about them in the later part of the video. First let's talk about the changes what nothing have mentioned with the change logs. So if you see the first change log which is layer to share widgets and guys share widget feature is still in beta phase and it doesn't work with all the widgets. The only widget it will work with and that's with photos widget and with a particular shape which is square shape. So here you can see we have the photos widget if I long press on it you do get an option to share. Tapping on it you can see a pop-up which says link widgets with the friend and share the same content between two devices. You have to agree to terms and condition tapping on start sharing you need to sign in with your nothing account or you can also use your google account if you haven't created nothing account and later on the other user can also react to your content. But as said it's in beta and it only works with the square shape photos widget if you use any other widget you don't get the share option here. Now let's talk about the other changes which is layer to customization. So here on the lock screen you can now customize your device. So soon you long press on the lock screen you'll see this message of customize lock screen. Tapping on it you need to unlock your device and here you can see we have around 6 clock styles. Some of them are the centered one and few of them are towards the left hand side. They also haven't removed this end dot font clock. But sadly you cannot make changes in the clock fonts currently. I hope within upcoming updates of nothing OS we do get the ability to change colors in the clock fonts. Later on in the lock screen itself you also have an option to add additional widgets. So soon you tap on the widget area you can see we have an option to enable expanded widget area and here you can see now we have an ample amount of space to add more widgets. But if you have enabled this expanded widget area you won't have access to clocks. At once you can only use one thing either the new clock styles or the expanded area widget. And if you see the grid over here you can in total add 16 widgets I mean the smaller one. And if you use this kind of widgets you can only add 8 widgets here. And at last if you use the bigger widget you can only add in total 4 widgets. They haven't removed the wallpaper studio which is an AI feature and here using AI you can generate any wallpaper and later on either you can apply it on the home screen or you can download and store in the local storage. And related to customization the last option is to change shortcuts on the lock screen. They have also done some changes in the always on display previously we had options like schedule, start time and end time. Now we have options like tap to show and always. So if you select the always you'll see a pop up. So if you select the always you'll see a pop up that your device might consume more battery and this is how the always on display looks. I haven't set any kind of widgets or the clock style. You'll see those things in the lock screen. After that if you see the next change which is layer to app drawer style. So here they have done some changes. We have a new app drawer called smart app drawer. Tapping on try now it gives a vibe of iOS where AI automatically detects the application and creates different folder based on those applications. For example here you can see all the social applications are under the social folder and applications like settings play store are under utilities folder. And on the top you'll see recently used application. I personally don't use this app drawer and it's nice to see that nothing have given an option to use the default one also. And in the default app drawer they have also given an option to pin the application. For example I use twitter application a lot. I'll long press on it, tap on this icon and here there'll be a different section created for the applications which you have pinned and there is no limit of pinning the applications you can pin as many applications you want. Then we also have the enhanced version of pop-up view. So let's open up settings page in the pop-up view you'll see this new introduction which says drag the bottom corner to resize the pop-up view. Tapping on next quickly swipe up from the bottom to minimize the pop-up view. Pull down from the bottom to switch to full screen. So this is a new add-on what they have done. You can also move the pop-up window at any place for more convenient and you also have the option to increase or decrease the size. They have also added this new gesture you can hold from the bottom side and drag it towards the navigation bar the application will open in full screen mode. And in the pop-up view they have also added this expand notification feature. It will be disabled by default you need to enable it manually. And let me show you how does it work. I'll send a message on this device. Soon I receive a message I can tap on this notification and drag that notification towards the bottom side and that application will be opened up in the pop-up view. Again a very good implementation for multitasking. And the major redesign what you'll see in nothing OS and that's in the control center. So here we have the new control center of nothing OS 3.0 and this also brings the ability to resize the widgets. So let me tap on edit and here you can see 
we have this nice option where you can choose different shapes for the widgets also and it applies for all the widgets according to your requirement you can change the size of widgets if you want all the widgets to be smaller that can also be done and we have the similar grid options what we saw for the lock screen you can have 16 widgets i mean the smaller one and by mistake if you have messed up with the quick setting tiles you have an option to reset it which will provide you the default layout also thankfully nothing i've added the brightness slider towards the bottom side and its size has been increased and if you see this icon tapping on it you can also enable or disable the auto brightness after that nothing i've separated the widget section too so tapping on widgets you can see we have two sections now one completely consists of nothing widgets you have the option to search and they are very properly organized Swiping towards the right hand side you have the default android widgets and now you also get to feel the vibration feedback while moving to different section or category you can see. And in the widget section we only had this option we could drag the widget and drop it on the home screen to add it. But now like stock android 15 we do have an option to tap to add the widget. So soon you tap on the widget you'll see a icon of plus which also says add widget. Tapping on it the widget will be automatically added to the home screen or the lock screen. And now they have very neatly done the categorization of settings page. On the top side you can also set the profile picture after signing in with your nothing account. Now let's talk about the stock android features what they have added. So first one is layer to screen recording. Now if you tap on screen recording quick setting tile, you do have an option to select a single application instead of entire screen. So if you tap on single app, a new pop-up will appear which lets you select the application which you want to record. So for example, I'll select the Google Play Store. Soon I tap on the Google Play Store, the recording will be automatically started. And if I exit this page, the recording will be automatically stopped. And on the previous build, whenever we used to close the application, we still used to see the timer running here in the notification. But that's not the case now. Soon you exit the application, the timer stops automatically and you'll see this pop-up screen recording saved. The second Android 15 feature is the app archive. So for example, we have the application installed which is Telegram. If I long press on it, go to app info, you'll see an option of app archive. If I tap on it, you can see the application have been archived. So whenever you archive the application, your data won't be affected. It just uninstall the application. And this is how it will look in the app drawer. With a single tap, you can again download the application and it won't again ask you to log in. You just install it tap on telegram and you can see a telegram opened up without signing in so app archive feature lets you save some space when you're running short of it before we used to have an open option here but now the open option or the icon have been moved towards the top side another stock android 15 change what they have done so for example if you change the timer i mean the screen timeout to 30 minutes or you increase from the current timing the device will always ask for authentication and the same thing goes if you change the usb preferences whenever you connect your device to usb there also you have to authenticate your device to change those settings and the last add-on of stock android is this predictive gesture which is enabled by default so guys these are all the new features what you'll see on nothing os 3.0 for your nothing phone one they haven't missed out on any of the feature what you guys see on nothing phone 2a or even nothing phone 2 we'll also start using these devices primary phones for the in-depth review so if you guys have any kind of questions you can drop them in the comment section below so as of now only this much in this video this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video